feeling tired, weak, depressed, low energy, numbness and tingling in hands and feet. Now, these can be signs of a vitamin B12 deficiency. And this is more likely as we get older because it becomes more difficult to absorb the vitamin B12 from the digestive tract. And if you take on top of that an antacid or a proton pump inhibitor, because you might have GERD or something like that, it becomes even worse. And uh, one of the other issues is that about 70% of the population have a genetic issue in methylating the vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is cobalamin, but it needs to be in the form of methylcobalamin to do its work, actually. And a lot of the uh, vitamins we're taking in are not in that form yet, so we have to methylate it. But again, there's a genetic um, problem in the, in the population where 70% can only partially do that, and 30% have a real problem methylating it. So that's another issue why we could have low vitamin B12 levels, even if you take a vitamin B12 supplement. And uh, uh, one way, of course, to bypass this is taking larger doses of vitamin B12 in the form of an injection, or at least taking your vitamins in the form of using a methylcobalamin. So sometimes it's already made. It's more expensive, but I think that's worth spending the money on. Because a lot of people that I see in clinic have a low vitamin B12 level. And again, the issue is that when we look at their blood work, they can get something that's called a macrocytic anemia, where the red blood cells essentially become larger, but not very functional, right? And that's, uh, that's a real problem because, again, all these symptoms might be there. Uh, memory loss is another one that can happen with a vitamin B12 deficiency. So even if you have good nutrition and you're taking the vitamins, as we get older, we might have a hard time absorbing this. It's always good to include a vitamin B12 um, test on your blood test when you have regular blood tests done, of course, together with a vitamin D3 test, which is my, uh, low for most people as well. And that's an easy one to correct. That's much easier to absorb, by the way. But yeah, check your vitamin B12 levels if you have any of those symptoms, because I think that's something that can be easily corrected in many cases. And of course, if you have any symptoms at all, talk to your primary care doctor, because it might be something else as well. It's always good to get counseling from your treating physician on these issues.